guys. I hope your day is going great so far. Uh, so today in this read, I really wanted to reach out to to an energy around you guys. So I feel like I feel like there's an energy out there, but they're blocked in some way, and and I don't feel like it's you blocking them. I feel like it's them blocking themselves like they're not communicating something to you there's some sort of a disconnect there uh and and i want to find out what it's all about what is this energy all about i can feel it coming from the deck of cards uh this is why i want to use the transparent deck too which i actually i'll show you guys this beautiful deck i actually got this as a gift from one of my subs uh over christmas jacked up jet allure moon this is actually one of my favorite decks to use it's absolutely beautiful to me, it sort of symbolizes uh, transparency and being able to to find truth in a matter where things might be hidden. So let's see what we have. So we do have a higher view. Uncharted Sea on the Oracle's Gift. This higher view, this is like somebody uh, who looks at you and they're sort of on the periphery of, of perhaps your social circle or they feel like they're on the periphery of your life. They don't feel like they're they're really able to get close to you in a way, but they're sort of like it's like watching you from afar. It's uncharted sea. It's like they're un they're uncertain of how to reach out to you, they're uncertain of how to proceed. We do have awakening genius. Awakening genius. How does awakening genius fit? In? It's like an inspiration an inspiration Can we get one more card oh i had a big bunch uh, but this one wanted to pop out tender embrace uh this is actually somebody who has uh romantic feelings about you is what that card is representing tender embrace they don't know how to reach out to you they don't know how to reach out to you it's the six of swords moving from stormier times to calmer ones ah the ten of swords it's like a disappointing ending but one that's beneficial in the long run what is going on did somebody go through uh, some sort of something in their life Maybe something came to an end a chapter came to an end they're moving on to something better or they see that you're doing that we do have the tower card here so there is some sort of an ending involved in something that happened. And again, right next to it, we have the death card. So some sort of a big change here. Some sort of a big change has come about. I feel like it's brought a change of perspective for this person. Whatever this is that they've been through, uh, that's been a big change. And this is, the, this is the awakening genius. I was wondering where exactly it fit in. Uh, this is sort of giving them a different perspective on, on what matters in life on what they really want. I do feel like this involves you in the way that they look at you. We have this nine of pentacles. This nine of pentacles figure is always somebody who's sort of like uh, independent. They have this abundance. They have this happiness, like they're comfortable in their own skin. I feel like this is how, this is how they would feel to be with you. This is kind of like what what you represent to them is this feeling of being comfortable in their own skin, this feeling of, of happiness, this feeling of abundance. Not Queen of Swords. It's like you're this figure of, of integrity, of truth, of honesty. You're someone who they can count on. You're like loyalty. I want to know how all of these fit in. Not Three of Pentacles. They want a partnership with you. And that is what I was feeling with that tender embrace. It's like this person wants a partnership with you. Your qualities, what they see in you, in your personality. This is something that draws them in. I think it's drawn them in for quite a while, actually. I don't feel like they've been in a position where they could do anything about it. I almost wonder if this person had, was already married when they started having these feelings for you because I don't feel like they ever said anything. I don't feel like they ever acted on anything. This was something they just kind of kept to themselves. I feel like their situation has changed though with this, this tower card, with this death card. Some sort of chapter has come to an end and now it's like, now it's like there's this opportunity and this is the uncharted seat too. It's like they don't know how to proceed. They now finally have this opportunity where their life circumstance has put them in a position where they can reach out to you. I don't know what your life circumstance is. And we also have, do you have the world card? We do have the world card. How does that world card fit into everything? 
because I don't feel like it fits in just the way it always does with my regular tarot deck. There's a different vibe that comes off of this world card. This is like a new chance for them to build. It's like what they want their life to look like. And it does involve having you in their life though. I don't, like I said, I, I haven't seen anything in the cards yet about what your life circumstances. And remember guys, like this read might not resonate with you. It's not going to be for everybody because it is a general read. I take the bits and pieces that are meant for you or have meaning for you you can leave the rest but i know within this read uh, the person who who is feeling this way feels like they're in a their life is in a position where they can reach out to this queen of swords energy um i'm not sure about where the queen of swords is building they want to build you know what no matter what they've been through this is the funniest vibe that i get and it's so very clear to me Whatever this person has been through, no matter how negative it is, when they look at this Queen of Swords energy, they actually want to marry this person. This, that's how far it goes. That's, they've had these feelings for this person for a long time. They don't just want to date them. They've already decided in their heart and their mind that they would like to marry this person. They want this person to be their spouse. We have the Eight of Pentacles too. And I do see that this is like... This is like them learning, this is like them learning how to do this all over again, sort of starting fresh, uh, being able to build a relationship from the ground up, but also changing dynamics. Like they're not sure how to move forward to change the dynamic of the situation because you already know who this person is, but the way that you know them is not a romantic connection. So they're not sure how to go about changing that. They're extremely attracted though. Uh, this. And this is who this energy represents, who this read is talking about, this knight of, of wands. He's very attracted to this queen of swords energy, very much. I, I do feel like in a way he's not entirely sure he's going to measure up to her. And that's why he's come forward as a knight and not a king. So on some level, and, and this might have been for a while too, uh, he's not entirely sure if she's somebody who's going to find him an acceptable choice for a mate. He's not sure if he has enough to offer her. But he's extremely attracted to her, extremely, and like physically attracted to her. Not just all of her qualities, but he's physically attracted to her as well. And he does want to settle down with her. He wants, and that's what I could feel in that Four of Wands right away. It's like he's already decided that he wants to marry her. Whoever this is, whoever these people are, he's known her for a long time. And this is what he's wanting. He wants to be her King of Swords. He wants to be, that's his dream. Like the Star Car said, that's his dream is to marry her we're gonna pull a few more of these guys let's see what else pops out of here we had one go sideways two of cups two of cups he wants to reach out to her it's very important he's just trying to figure out how to go about it. i feel like he's trying to work up the nerve he's trying to figure it all out in his mind i don't feel like anything is going to stop him unless she has any kind of circumstance going on because his life has cleared him in a way that he can now move forward with this. He can he can try and explore this option. I know a little bit more, give me. Oh, and I have one that popped out here. So we have, we have the seven of cups, options, options. He's trying to figure out how to do it. He's trying to figure out how to approach her. Uh, so this is, I don't know if this queen has already heard from him or if he's just trying to work up the courage. He, he is trying to move forward in this. He's trying to find a way to move forward in, in being able to get to know her, in approaching her, in changing sort of the dynamic of their relationship because it has been extremely casual uh, up until up until now where he has the opportunity to change that. I do feel like he is going to be moving forward with that opportunity. It's not going to be proposing right away, but that is his end goal. That is his end goal is to marry this queen of swords, whoever she is. He has already decided on that. His heart is set on it. And he's, he's already like deeply in love with her and has been for quite a while. Wow. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed that read. Thank you very much for joining me. Remember, guys, if, if you enjoy these reads, uh, if you find value in them, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel out. And it helps me to keep delivering these messages to you guys every day. Alrighty, everyone, take care.